This is Andrew Mayen for TRM, and I will be demonstrating how to create and configure a custom select action in IBM's Maximo. For this, I will be using the RM App Developer Perspective in TRM's Rules Manager Studio. I am using this tool because it will vastly simplify this process. To create a select action in the work order tracking application, I will find and double click the Woe Track element in the App Explorer on the left. Once the WoTrack editor is open, I simply right-click the Select Action box and choose the New Select Action option. I will then set the name of the new Select Action. For this demonstration, I want to create a simple action to show me what the total cost of my selected work orders are in the List tab. I'll call it Calculate Costs. I can also put this action in a folder using a simple slash notation. For example, or even specify the order in my action list. I will now set it to only show up on the List tab. In my script page, I will create my script. My script page offers Content Assist, which will assist me in writing my rule. It will give me descriptions and variables pertinent to the context of the rule that I am writing. In this case, I will use the Result Set, or MBO Set, and then I will get the selected MBOs from the results set in my list page. This is an array of work orders. I will also need to sum both the material and the labor costs to calculate the total costs of these work orders. I will loop through my selected work orders and first calculate the labor costs by looping through the WP material related records for my work order. Next, I will need to loop through all of my related WOE activity or tasks to find out the cost of each material needed for the tasks. I can easily format my script by just hitting Control Shift F. Lastly, I will also need to send a, mes a message to my user with the details of the total costs. I will use the browser object to communicate this information back to the front end user. I will then use the show message dialog function to pass a string. I'm using sprintf here for the simplicity of passing in variables. I can also use simple HTML inside of this dialog. This will format my dialog to make it more readable to the front end user. First I'll pass my labor and make sure that it's a string so that my sprintf function will function correctly and then material and then the total cost of adding my labor and my material together. Now, I will tell my server it has new configurations and then verify my configuration is working. By right clicking on the WoTrack app, I can browse directly to the work order tracking application. I will first have to narrow my results so that I can select records. Let's go to my in progress work orders. Let's select one record and calculate its total cost. You'll notice that I now have a calculate costs select action and I am getting my message back to my back to the user. 
Since I am totaling all selected records, I can select multiple records as well. I can also fiddle with my message to change the way it's presented. Let's make the total stand out a little bit more using HTML. Notice the total is now slightly bolded. See our other tutorials to learn more about what Rules Manager Studio can do for you.